Hello everyone and welcome back to this brand new video series on the Civil Engineering Essentials channel. I am very proud to do this video series and in this video series we are going to go through the steps that are necessary to program a finite element analysis package on MATLAB. Now please note that I'm not going to use any external packages, the only thing I will be using is MATLAB and its programming language. If you know other programming languages, then this might be still beneficial for you, like if you want to apply on Python, this series will still be helpful for you, but I'm going to abide by MATLAB. Now I will tell you all about this video series just after the intro, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the announcement video. All right, so I'm pretty sure that you're all, or most of you are aware of the finite element method series I have on this channel. I will be linking the video on the top right. And I always wanted to show you how to program this. Now I have a Udemy series where I program it in C-sharp, which is basically something that you can use for commercialization if you want to go one step further. However, I need to program this for my research purposes and I use MATLAB for research purposes, so I wanted to show you how programming in MATLAB looks like and how you can achieve such result. The finite element package that we're gonna program is going to follow a well-known programming paradigm called the MVC paradigm, model, view, and controller. So there is a viewer and there is a controller and there is a model. Now this might be some programming shenanigans, but relax. As you may know from my channel, I use simple language to convey those elements of programming, so everything is gonna be fine. The idea, let me just show you, showcase you the software. You could basically load something. This is the structural renderer, as we can see. You can have see nodes and local coordinates and loads. You can actually check out the fem renderer and render. And this is now the discretization of the element. You can see multiple elements in different colors. Each one of those elements is a beam element. This is the FEM model. You can, of course, for example, show the deflection shape. And if you show the deflection shape, you can see the typical deflection shape of a double fixed frame. You can even see other force components like FX, for example. I still need to play a little bit to improve this rendering, but you can see the render. You can show deflections, for example, and reaction, everything. So this is gonna be something very cool and very special. And I'm not gonna make it cryptic. The way you input the structure is going to be, of course, via something called a structure script file. For example, here's sample frame. Take a look at that. You can see in the sample frame, those commands are human readable. Like node 1 is add node, node 2 is add node. We add a lot of nodes. We define some lines between the nodes. We define supports. We define sections. We apply those things. It's not cryptic. What is going to be the focus of this entire series is going to be the STR controller. This is where everything takes place. This is the controller of the software, has the entire source code. Everything is there. And we are going to build it step by step. I want to tell you that I already have recorded over 80 videos explaining how you can reach this level. So you're going to be well suited in learning both programming and finite element applications. Now, of course, you could take this stub of software and build upon it, because for now you can see that the inputs are given in a script file. You could make your own input windows here and add it. This is a very minimalistic view I have included in this software. You can, of course, improve it. Don't get me wrong, if you are a master student, you could base your entire thesis on this. So this is my gift to the world. To finalize, I want to mention, every single line of code will be written in front of you and even has been written. As a matter of fact, by the day you see this video published on the Civil Engineering Essentials channel, I would have already finished programming the software. I can even show it to you here. This is the source code and you can see all the lectures have already been programmed. I just need to, of course, video edit them, which will take a ton of time. With that being said, I want to mention my dear channel members, would have access to the source code. Every time a lecture drops, the source code would be available to them. However, if you're not a channel member, then don't worry, because every single line of code will be written in front of you. There is nothing to fear. You can write along and you will have the exact same code as mine, I promise this. Now that is my announcement video. 
I know you might want to dive into this, but alas, it's not meant to be in this video. Now, in this announcement video, I also want to apologize to my dear channel viewers. I have been like since, I don't know, 12 days, not saying any peep out of me. I was really working hard into this MATLAB thing. The reason why is because I'm also doing scientific research. So I have a big incentive to finalize this because I want to do research in warehouse optimization. But that's something I might talk to you later about. And that's everything that I want to announce in this rather short announcement video. Before I finish, I want to give a reassurance here that this video series is not going to affect the main video series on our Civil Engineering Essentials channel. As a matter of fact, I have robot series, I have nonlinear finite element series, I have pile series and bridge series. Those will continue running. And the reason why I tell you this will not affect anything is because I already have recorded the 80 lectures. So the work has been done. The editing needs to be done, but it's less time consuming. So relax, nothing will be put on the shelf. I will try my best to work out all the series in parallel fashion. And well, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this announcement video. I hope you enjoyed it. And in the end, before I finish, I want to give an announcement sized shout out to my dear channel members in the contributor level and the helper level, whose names are going to be shown on the screen. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart, really, because their support to the channel is really what allows us to keep going like this and allows us to produce videos hopefully on time and with a certain quality we try to achieve. And for that, I personally am very thankful. In the end, I hope that you enjoyed this announcement video and you found it beneficial. As per usual, if you have found it beneficial, then please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and so on. Especially subscribing because it helps increase the reach of my channel. As per usual, this is the Civil Engineering Essentials channel, and I will definitely catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.